Hey guys, who are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. So this is going to be a new love singles reading for the collective. Now this will be a timeless reading, so it's not necessarily when I post this reading um, that the messages could potentially resonate in here for you. It can be at a much later date. If you feel inclined to watch the reading, there could still be messages in here for you. Now this is going to be a collective reading whereby that means it's not sign specific um, but because of this I will still let you know of the zodiac signs throughout the reading in relation to your sun moon rising or venus placements for yourself or maybe your love interest the one that's on your mind for their sun moon rising or venus placements okay guys now also um, we're just going to start off this reading with the one deck of cards today this is the modern witch tarot and also just want to let you guys know is that i do have new memberships available on the channel if you are interested in having a look there is a link in the pinned comments down below whereby it will take you straight to a little video and more information about the memberships okay so let's get into this, shall we? Angels of love and light, can you please have clear and concise messages for the collective in relation to new love for singles? What are they needing to know at this time, please? And thank you. So let's get into this. Two more shuffles. I'm just going to read uprights for you today. As I've been guided to just read uprights for this reading. Cutting up the deck for you now and we'll get straight into it, okay guys? Okay, what's going on please for new love singles? Interesting. So we have the Magician, wow, and the Knight of Swords. Well, we did briefly see, or I did briefly see, the Tower. Um, at the bottom of the deck, which is Aries and Scorpio energy. And then we have strong Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. We have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio with that magician and the seven of pentacles and the knight of swords. Okay. So what I'm feeling predominantly is there is someone, okay, who may be coming forward towards you relatively quickly. It's going to be quite surprising, but I feel like you've manifested this or your person has for them to come towards you or for it to feel like the right time to come towards you or they've manifested for you to approach them or you both have been manifesting of each other and because there's the sense of pure intentions on both of your sides as we can see here from the white horse and also this white dress i'm getting this overall indication that you're both wanting of the same thing you're both wanting to move forward in this connection with each other, which is really quite exciting. As I try to move my cards, three of pentacles with the six of um, cups here. Look, so potentially some of you are dealing with a connection whereby there's a strong soulmate possibility um, or a past life connection or a twin flame connection with the six of cups, but this person has been thinking about getting together with you. With the seven and the three of pentacles together, I'm getting the overall impression that you're both wanting something more solid and stable and long lasting so i'm feeling that kind of energy of you know potential talks to do with um going to the next level i know that this reading last time um this last new love singles reading was all about the evolution of a couple if you haven't had the opportunity to go and see that reading it may be worthwhile to going and watching it as there could be some messages in there but this is a really lovely continuation of what i was getting previously for you guys so i feel like things are really starting i'm getting turn up the heat so i feel like there's a lot of magnetic energy between you and this person i'm getting magnetism there's a lot of chemistry here this person is very sure on you okay but I feel ultimately they may have felt the need to hold themselves back because I feel predominantly if you and this person have only recently kind of started dating or kind of newly knowing of each other, it's all very fresh. It's all very, I'm getting told, sudden, whereby these overwhelming feelings have been kind of taking over this person 
And so therefore they could be someone that's a bit more practical, a bit more logical. They like to take their time to think things through. But because of the energy, I feel predominantly this person is realizing that, you know, I can't sleep on this opportunity, basically, whereby um, I can't kind of rest too much on this because I don't want to feel like I'm getting they're going with someone else or they're taken away from me. So they feel like you're someone who's very popular or most likely seen in um, a very public way, whereby you could be on social media. Um, you could be doing quite well for yourself. I'm getting told in your business or in a particular field of work whereby, you know, if it's not your main career or your main profession, you may have like a side hustle or a hobby that you um, could be trying to um, build on that, but you have a good platform to do with this and that could get ready to um, take off, get ready to take off. What else is going on here, please? And thank you. Yeah, Page of Swords. Literally, guys, I said to you about how this person could be keeping tabs on you, maybe online. And the Page of Swords is all about kind of looking out for someone. OK, so you can see here you're both kind of wanting of something with each other. You may be looking at this person as well, kind of seeing what they're up to. But I feel ultimately this person is going to communicate to you, um, I'm getting told very succinctly, very concisely about what it is that they want with you, with the connection, okay? Um, they may have been at one point unsure with how they were going to communicate their thoughts and feelings to you about your connection or like what they think would be possible for this connection. I'm getting the some reason there could be a considerate amount of distance between the two of you. Um, I'm not getting like as if you're so far away as in separate countries so much or, you know, that it would need to take a flight for you each other to kind of get together. I'm getting more on the lines of um, it's still at quite a distance between you, but you would have to drive or take a train or, or something like that. OK. Right, those two wanted to show. Ace of Swords, oh my gosh, guys. Look at all these swords. Ace of Pentacles, wow. So like I said to you, this person absolutely wants to communicate to you saying that they want something more solid, okay? This person has good intentions. I feel that ultimately you have not been expecting someone to kind of come forward maybe it's a particular person you've had your eye on and you may have thought okay well if this person's not coming forward then somebody else will and obviously that is the case there are other people very much interested in you as well i'm getting told apple of my eye this person views you as the apple of their eye but they may have not actually let you know of this i feel predominantly as well this person would be really quite heartbroken if you were with someone else or dating someone else like lots of other people because i feel ultimately you do have um the ball in your court in some rhyme or reason um i feel like you're coming across as this very powerful being especially if you're the one that potentially resonates with this magician energy and then you have this page and this knight here and whereby the magician is, you know, one of the major arcana. So it's like one of the main characters. Like these people may see you as a main character. I just saw 1010 on my timer. You could be very much in tune um, with your spirituality. Maybe you're getting ready to have a brand new beginning. A cycle is closing out in your life. You have a lot of prosperity that's on the way to you. And this is incredibly exciting. And I feel like it's not necessarily just about love, whereby you're about to reap some sort of major reward, okay, or award, okay, I'm getting award and reward, okay. So you're going to be awarded something potentially from the sense of the universe, as you can see, these two hands are coming out of the ethers, okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting potentially spiritual gifts as well. Some of you could be receiving um, a kind of a leveling up here 
in relation to your um, abilities, there's certain talents that you may have. And this person just saw 1111 on my timer. There's certain talents that you have that you may have been keeping to yourself. But I feel ultimately it's time for people to see you, okay? Um, yeah, center stage. I'm getting someone who could be in the spotlight. So this potentially this person is seeing you in the spotlight or they know you're about to be in the spotlight or you feel like something massive is about to happen in your life and you're going to be thrust into the spotlight and whereby I'm getting this overall impression that you know there are lots of people that are wanting to come forward towards you like your energy is just going to be so alluring and very strong whereby it's like you're this magnet I'm just getting like moths to a flame it's like you're not necessarily just attracting in these beautiful opportunities in your life in other areas of your life you're attracting in people as well and also you know people who could be potential suitors for you and also people who are not potential suitors for you but you're having to use the sense of discernment about filtering through i'm getting the wheat from the chaff i know that sounds a bit blasé but that's what i'm getting and blasé is also not a word i would normally say so somebody may use that word or have heard that word recently but i'm just getting the indication that you finally may be in a position where you're having this glow up and other people are taking notice of you and because people are taking notice of you, there's a particular person who you may have recently just met or kind of been dating. They're seeing that you're having all of this extra attention and they've been up in their head a lot more than usual about this connection and yourself. Because I feel pre predominantly this person may have not been ready to get fully into a commitment as of yet, okay? They may be very serious about the intention of dating you and seeing where things go. And obviously they have interest in you, but they know others do as well. And I feel like predominantly this person is someone that is understanding if they don't take action now or soon, then you may be swept off the market type of thing. Like you'll be taken off the market. There'll be someone else that will be coming in. And so therefore this person's like, okay, if I do go towards my person and say how I feel to them about wanting a serious commitment, even though we've only met a few times or dated a few times, or, you know, even if that is the case on a romantic level where you have only had a few opportunities to be together with this person, some of you may have known them through work in the past and then separated, or you may have gone to school or college together or you may have been friends with this person in the past, okay? And then, you know, life happens and then you've come back together again in one way or another. Like, you're kind of in each other's, um, I'm getting vicinity for some reason. So not necessarily local vicinity, as in you may be in the same neighborhood. I mean, some of you could be, but I'm feeling predominantly more on the lines of becoming more aware of you and your energy because of the sense like you've been brought into this person's life because of i'm getting the sense of this magician energy with that kind of universal forces here at play that's what i'm picking up so lots of things coming in yet yeah, a tower again coming through aries and scorpio this whatever this person has to say to you about how they feel for you is definitely going to be a lot for you to take in because I feel predominantly this has been something that you have been wanting, but you may have not fully believed that it was actually going to come into fruition, that it was something that was possible. I'm getting possible for you. I'm getting a little bit of insecurity here. So maybe there was a point in time where there's been the kind of thought process of, well, these good things, they happen to other people, but they do not happen to me. And like I said that, look at that, the nine of wands, okay? So we've got this person here who has this bandage around their head and it's like the wounded warrior. It's having that victim mentality at points in time by going, okay, well, it's not necessarily, you know, gonna ever happen for me and have felt like you've had a hard time. But I feel like that's predominantly something from the past 
okay that may have been an old mindset from before because you have gone through heartbreak or this could be in relation to your person obviously just switch it round to however this resonates but i'm feeling more predominantly that is a cycle of a version of yourself that has closed or has been closing and it's like things have been feeling relatively tough to kind of close that door and embrace the new beginning and the new mindset and the new way of thinking and being and being more positive and kind of understanding one's power as it were rather than having to go back to an old way of thinking doing and being with an older mindset there's i feel like there has been a lot of work here at play with yourself or your love interest or even the both of you i'm picking up on potentially there has been um some sort of dis difficulties and i'm getting distance between the two of you so i'm definitely feeling there has been distance between you um emotionally and physically for some of you if you do have some sort of previous history with this person but i'm also picking up on the sense of um gosh disturbances like there's been disturbances in this connection potentially due to a third party inf interference um interference yeah okay with the queen of cups so there could be potentially a strong feminine energy involved um maybe this person has a lot of love for you or they're realizing that they have this love and care for you and they could see you as the future you know mother or father of their children they're a future parent okay um if they were to have children with you could be dealing with a cancer scorpio or a pisces maybe or you have strong water placements your person does i'm even potentially thinking and feeling that there could have been a mother figure involved a parent so a mother figure potentially whereby there may have been some sort of incidents to do with um they may have not thought that you were the right fit for your love interest for some reason if your love interest has kind of spoken about you in the past or your kind of love interest mother figure or whoever they're dealing with doesn't really know anything about you but they may have heard some sort of rumors about you or something to do with what you do is maybe a little bit different from the norm you're a little bit out of the box here so therefore your person may have been told to kind of stop communicating with you and not move forward with the connection and have something more solid with you until certain things had you know kind of played out i'm getting it's just a phase so maybe someone has been um been told as it were by this potential person here look oh it's just a phase you know you will soon get over it you'll be able to cut them off and it will be as if nothing happened but i feel predominantly if your person your love interest has been told of this then they've had the realization that that actually wasn't true whatsoever and it isn't a phase and that they've actually hurt themselves more and they've potentially hurt you because there's the sense of listening to this other person or other people potentially friends family work colleagues whoever i'm getting close loved ones right who may have said of certain things but then at the same time you know gave off the impression or you know maybe not even in a sinister way gave off the impression that they wanted good for your person and they they most likely do want good for your person but they were coming across as like showing that sense of cause and concern for their choices but then giving off the impression that they don't fully trust that your person has the right judgment in you or the right judging character when anyone else and that so therefore your person didn't listen to themselves they listened to these other people and if you were cut off from this person it was because of you know other people's kind of hidden agenda at the time with certain things like they wanted things to stay the same in some way and if you were to be brought into the mix then they wouldn't have been the same okay yeah look at that five of pentacles to potentially leave you out in the cold but your person was like okay they wanted to work with you but then they were told because you can tell with the eight of pentacles to the five of pentacles that's the three of pentacles there is a sense of third party situation whereby they were like well look 
why don't you put the extra energy into your work or into your career or into doing something else and you know leave this other person to be you know for the time being and if they're still around they're still around but if they're not then you kind of know where you're at and what have you but the reason being they were going down this path by telling this person to kind of work more was because potentially there could have been financial codependency on some sort of level or this person was you know maybe giving money to family or friends you know having the hands out as as it were and your person may have just turned their back on you um but that's not because they wanted to turn their back on you potentially they just didn't know how to communicate their thoughts and feelings to you even though that they felt deeply for you now obviously that is if you have some sort of knowledge of this person and you've known them and you haven't had the opportunity to kind of go into a new love connection with each other but i'm feeling predominantly um if you and this person have only just met or just started dating this person may have a tendency to work a lot and they do overthink everything and they're very much passionate about trying to get the next level up in their life so that they can create the reality that they're wanting and the reality that they're wanting is that they are trying to change everything about their current existence okay there's something about their existence that they're not fully happy with or satisfied with and i feel ultimately if that is the case then they're doing all of this because they want to have something more concrete with you and with doing of this they're going to bring in that manifestation of you and them having a family or um you know building a legacy or kind of um moving in together or living together or what have you okay but look everything is fine with the five of swords there was definitely some sort of manipulation here at play something to do with the home look at that the four of wands whereby there was judgment here and then we had the king of cups so we saw the queen of cups and the king of cups okay they were saying to your person most likely if they know of you or they've heard about the connection with you and this person if there is distance look well if you put more distance then the love is still there and the passion is still there then potentially you can move on forward with it but at this point in time things aren't necessarily right um and so your person may have heard what these other people said and then they may have felt stuck because they may have felt like they had to make a choice between you and their family or their friends and especially if you haven't been very much present in this person's physical existence then they may have not thought like oh okay they may have thought basically it doesn't make sense for them to kind of go down a path with you logically because the fact that you're not in this person's local space but this this still hurt them because i feel like deep down in their gut instincts they knew that it probably wasn't the right thing but because it made logical sense at the time they made that decision um and sometimes making a decision or not making a decision is still a decision if you know what i mean i feel i'm getting lots of different words here okay lots of different things being said but this person is um seeing you do very well for yourself and getting the sense of like flourishing so you could be getting ready to really bloom into the next level of your um i'm getting of your story like of your book you could be writing a book or getting ready to write a book I'm getting told thrilling wow okay i'm getting told like blockbuster yeah so i'm getting bestseller so there could be something about your life whereby it's very interesting like you couldn't make it up you know and i feel that other people want to hear from you yes look at that with the queen of wands there's something about you where it's just the way that you come across or that you look to others it's like you do not look like what you've been through you're still coming across is very very attractive here with this queen of wands energy now i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex so therefore like people look at you and they're like wow like this person is flourishing they're completely blooming they're having this this glow up you could have strong fire placements but look, we have the high priestess. You've been keeping yourself to yourself, okay? This person definitely feels a strong spiritual connection with you. Oh my gosh, we have divine feminine energy coming through with the high priestess 
and also the Empress with the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, look at you. You, you, you have people pretty much feeling stuck. People having like thoughts about you, about wanting to come forward and give to you. And they're all up in their feels because you're coming across as this incredibly powerful person. Like I was saying before, maybe quite intimidating here. Okay. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress and the High Priestess. Like this is a lot for people to kind of take on guys. Okay. Um, but I feel that you have been single for a while. Okay. And I feel like someone is really wanting to make you their future spouse, okay? Um, this person is very serious about you. Some of you could be dealing with um, the strong soulmate connection, a past life connection, or a twin flame. You could be dealing with a divine masculine that could be getting ready to manifest or um, into your existence after a, a difficult ending to do with a separation in the past or a cycle of you and this person just not working things out together but i feel like whatever was meant to be was it meant to be and there was a sense of timing in all of this okay what else is going on here please and thank you for new love for singles the star beautiful aquarius energy so there is a lot of healing that's getting ready to take place and you are coming across as this star like very much like in this sense like very healing energy wow we have justice the seven of pentacles the emperor and the sun with the page of cups oh my gosh so if this person has hurt you if you have some history with them then they are very serious about putting in the work to do with this connection and wanting to have a union reunion or reconciliation um i feel also that if you have just newly met this person or started dating they are very serious okay about taking things to the next level like potentially even considering marriage um and children um this person would love uh, for you to be the mother or father of their their children like that is something that they definitely fantasize or daydream about if they have um the chance i'm kidding like at work this person may be um <laughs> thinking of certain things about you okay as i say that um with the seven of pentacles again showing through this person definitely kind of <sighs> thinks about certain aspects of their life and i feel like they have been a bit blown away by you by your kind of beauty your essence this sense of um like naturalness there is to you okay very genuine you're very much someone who isn't scared to be vulnerable because i feel ultimately there was a, a point in time where you may have been fearful about opening up to people okay but i feel predominantly there has been so much that's happened in your life whereby you've realized that if you take a different look on things and see things from another point of view you're having the realization that actually there's power in vulnerability and expressing oneself and not you know getting too worried about being up in your head about certain things it's important to kind of just open yourself up to people but look nine of cups you're about to be very happy here with this communication or with this person expressing how they feel for you we got double wish fulfillment coming here guys i mean i know it sounds cheesy and corny but we do have you know miracles are a strong possibility if you're wanting something more with this person oh my gosh with the ten of cups i mean this is so beautiful if you're wanting you know, the true sense of emotional fulfillment to do with this connection, then it's here for you. Absolutely. You know, um, and if it's not necessarily this particular person that, you know, there, there's also someone else or other people that are wanting the same thing as this other person with you. And you've got your pick. And, you know, you've got your pick. You're going to be very successful. Whatever it is that you choose, you're going to be happy either way. And whoever is going to be coming into your life, you're going to be, I'm getting equally yoked with this person. Like it's going to be very natural. There's going to be a sense of harmony and balance between the two of you. This person is quite successful. 
you know how I was saying how you may be more in the public eye? Well, we have the star and the nine of cups. I mean, some of you could be, you know, really getting like recognized for the work that it is that you do or this person sees you. And so therefore it's like you could become a star overnight. I'm getting the sense of like, like fame and fortune. I mean, with the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles as well. This is very powerful energy, okay? Um, so if there has been points where you have been really struggling with certain things, like things have felt a bit slow, a bit sluggish, like it's not been working out the way that you were hoping for things to work out, I'm getting predominantly that that is very much um, changing in, in, a, in a huge way, okay? In a huge way. Yeah, with judgment. And I feel like you're very protected and looked over and watched at this time. But if this person is someone from the past, they're definitely coming in for a reconciliation. OK, but if this is someone that is new, then they have actually been sent in your direction. OK, I'm getting because because they um, are a good fit for you, a good fit for you. Sagittarius energy coming through then. OK, and so therefore, if there is a lot of physical distance between the two of you, that will all be resolved and sorted out. I don't feel like that's going to be like a problem for the two of you getting together. Look at that with the Wheel of Fortune. OK, beautiful. More Sagittarius energy. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius and Scorpio coming through. Things are working out in your favour. Potentially, um, you could be going away with this person with the Six of Swords. And like I said to you, they've been guided to come forward towards you, like they've been sent to you, as it were, by the universe. It's it's going to be um, very fruitful, okay? You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. Um, they may suggest about you and them going away for a few days. Yes. Last card, please, for new love for singles. What's the last card? The world. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so gorgeous. Look at this spread. I mean, what? Six of pentacles in the world? Your luck is changing. But it's not just the sense of like, oh, you know, there's going to be a couple of good things that are going to work out in my favor. It's going to be like everything and anything that you've been wanting to change is going to be here for you because there's a closure of an old cycle because you've been doing the work healing yourself being single and taking the time that you need to change certain aspects of yourself in a good positive way whereby you're not letting your past get in the way of you having this beautiful new future that you're wanting for yourself like you're being more present and in the now and you are someone who is radiating at this time and i feel that this person and others as well are only going to want to come forward towards you and give to you and i'm feeling like i'm getting told jackpot here so this person may feel like or lots of other people that are coming forward towards you are literally going to feel like they struck gold when they met you, okay? They are going to feel like the luckiest person on the planet, okay? They're going to feel like, wow, who, like, where have you been all my life? Like, how on earth did you even, like, how are you even here, like, in front of me? Like, people are just going to be so shocked, but I feel like you are so humble with yourself and you're not someone that is overly showy or you're not someone that's like bragging to people about you know your achievements and your success and the sense of you know what you've gone through I feel that ultimately I'm getting told survivor you're a survivor of sorts and people want to hear from you but also people are very much physically attracted to you obviously now I'm getting the sense of like not just from the opposite sex if that is something that resonates I'm getting like from everyone so um obviously you know however that resonates but I'm just feeling everyone and anyone is going to be attracted to you at this point in time whether it's in a romantic level or not okay um four of cups I feel that ultimately you may have thought look when am I going to have my big break? 
when are things going to turn around in my career? When am I going to be in the right social um, circle? Like, who am I needing to kind of talk to in order to get to the next level? Like, what it is I need to do? And I feel ultimately you've been on your own for a little while and you haven't had very much help or assistance. And you may have thought that if something like this was to happen, it's all to be, you know, too good to be true. But it's not going to be too good to be true. It's actually going to be very much your reality. And it may take you a moment to go, okay, this can genuinely happen for me. Like things can work out. And I feel that ultimately this person believes that you two were destined to be in each other's lives. There is a sense of fate about this. And I feel like this person, if they kind of know a little bit about you, whereby, you know, you may be more spiritually inclined, this person has had their kind of curiosity peaked here, probably from you in some way, or from talking to you, and they could be studying, they could be learning a few extra things, so that they could be feeling more on the level with you in relation to that so you know because they want to be equally yoked with you not necessarily just in a good energetic match but they want to be on the same page with with understanding to do what it is that you have interest in especially if it is in in regards to spirituality like if there are certain terms that you may use then they want to know and understand of these terms so that when you have a conversation you know, they don't just kind of sit there and kind of gawk at you and not sure what it is that you're saying or why you're saying it, even though it sounds great. <laughs> I'm getting the sense like this person yourself is very much drawn to each other's kind of intellect. I'm getting sapiosexual as well. So intelligence is very um, sexy for this person. They really love how your mind works. OK, I'm getting that, too. Um I'm getting told, pick your brain. This person would love to pick your brain and they, they love the way that you think. So if you are a little bit quirky, um, then they love that. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm also wanting to say that if you have like a dry sense of humor um, or they love your humor, like you could have a little bit of dark humor about you or a little bit of sarcasm, that type of thing, very quick witted, um, like I don't know, you just like off the cuff, I'm getting improv, like you could be very funny here, guys, or you're just very natural. And this person loves this, like there's a good sense of banter between the two of you. Yeah, I feel that <laughs> the physical distance thing is not going to be a problem because this person will make sure that it is not a problem. Okay, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm moving, I'm getting like, um, is it Helen High Water, uh, you know, moving Helen High Water to be able to get their way to you. So they don't want there to be any, any issues with you and this person getting together. I'm, I'm also getting the impression that when you get together with this person, it's like everything is just going to just happen all at once, all very, very quickly. It's like one thing after another thing, after a new beginning, another new beginning, you know, it's all going to be happening very quickly. But I feel predominantly there's a lot to be very happy about here, guys. This person isn't going to breadcrumb you. They're not going to be, you know, kind of mucking you about. This person's going to be quite serious, okay? And they're going to show you that they are serious about you. Very much so. But lots of different messages here, guys. Um, I know it's a longer reading, but I just felt kind of inclined to kind of give a longer reading. But um, we do have pretty much every sign on the table, okay? Um, but you could be seeing ones, as in 111, 11, 11. Um, 17 could be significant, nines. I'm getting sevens as well, sixes and threes, okay? But that's going to be the end of the reading. But I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And I hope that there were some messages or a few messages, if not the whole reading, that potentially resonated with you today. Um, if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who've already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you guys on those comments eventually, guys. So thank you so much. 
Um, if you haven't already, I would really greatly appreciate it if you can hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video, as I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of the new content that comes available on the channel. And last but not least, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you could go to the pinned comments down below and you could check out potentially the uh, the new link for the memberships available. Um, I would greatly uh, appreciate that. And to those of you who've already become a member, thank you so much for your support. I'm very appreciative of you all. And um, I just wanna say thank you specifically to you guys as well. So. Um, I will kind of update the uh, members um, kind of chat soon. I will, I will do like a poll or a video or something for you guys just to kind of um, get the ball rolling with the memberships, okay? But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll speak to you very soon and please take care of yourselves. Bye guys.